Morning, world. Good morning, Michigan. A very pleasant Monday to you. Martin Cleaves, three-time Michigan State University captain, led the Spartans to the 2000 National Championship, most outstanding player of the Final Four, and the eighth player in Michigan State history to have his number retired. Drafted by the Pistons, played for the Cavaliers, the Supersonics, the Kings, the Celtics, and right now has one goal, one passion, summer basketball camps. Yep, you can have your kids taught by Martin Cleves, who's on the other end of our AT&T line right this very second. Welcome back to the program. Oh, man, I appreciate it. You guys got me fired up. I heard my guy, Coach Izzo, on the intro, man. Hey, it's going to be a great day. What's going on, Michael? Hey, if you were coaching, would you be like him where you never sit down and your voice is almost gone by the end of the game? Hey, I kind of think, I, I think that's how I'll be. You know, <laughs> you know, he's one of the best. He's done it the right way. So if I want to be like anybody, it definitely would be Coach Izzo. Now, but you're going to be dealing with young people are age 8 through 12 and age 13 to 17. And if you go to one goal, one passion camps dot event bright dot com, which we will also post on our uh, MI big show dot com page. You, when you're coaching kids like that who are coming in, you know, just sort of getting to know you, they might be a little intimidated. Uh, how do you go about it? Well, you know what? I always, you know, one thing I learned is, you know, kind of what to say, when to say, and how to say it to people to get them going. I mean, certain kids you can challenge right out the gate. Uh, some of them you have to kind of wheel them in and, uh, you know, figure out ways to get to them. But, you know, I, that's one thing I've kind of been blessed with, you know, what to say to certain people. And uh, it's been great. You know, I've been doing camps since I got drafted. I've been giving free camps since I got drafted, man, back in 2000. So, uh, now, you know, this is my second year with the One Goal, One Passion, sponsored by Myers, and uh, it's been great. So it's not, it's not a problem for me to be able to get the kids. It's a three-day program, as I understand it. Am I reading this correctly? It costs a dollar? Yeah, and I hate that part. I, I hate the dollar because, you know, <laughs> I, you know I, I really well, I want it to be free, but that's pretty much just insurance and registration, you know, all booked in that one dollar. So. Uh, it's fun. We've been having a great camp. We started out a good one down at Benton Harbor, and we look for Lance to be bigger and better. Well, awfully good of Meyer to help you in that fashion, and uh, nice of you to include them in the program for sure. Do you think, though, that young people now, uh, you know, maybe it was different when you were coming up, but young people now, whether it's in sports or in business or whatever it is, do they need more carrot than stick? <laughs> Yeah, you know what? I, I, they need to be pushed a little more, and it, because they have so much going and so many other things to do. Uh, when we came up, it was just you know go outside and play, or get in the gym and you know play basketball, go to the parks. Now they got the video games, the internet, the social media. There's so many other things that they they got they have you know to take their attention, and um, you know so I, I'm I'm kind of from the old school, and I just want to get kids back to the the days where they went in the gym and worked on the games and, you know, worked hard, got the exercise in every day. So that that's pretty much what I'm all about. You know, I was, I was listening to some of the audio from the Baseball Hall of Fame inductions this weekend, and Frank Thomas got up there to give his speech, and I'm going to play uh, 19 seconds of it for you here. He talks about the value of hard work and how he learned that. And you can hear in his voice that uh, he's choked up saying it. This is Frank Thomas. Frank Singer, I know you're watching and smiling from heaven. Without you, I know 100% I wouldn't be here in Cooperstown today. Thanks for pushing me and always preaching to me. You can be someone special if you really work at it. I took that to heart, Pops. Look at us today. Look at us today, he says. <laughs> Man, what, I mean, what an emotional speech. And, and, and that's the same thing with me. My mother and father installed, you know, hard work. Uh, you know, and me, when I was a kid, my brothers and sisters, I was a, I benefited from being the youngest of five siblings. And, um, you know, my mom and dad, they just all pushed me about hard work, and that's something that I've lived by, and that's something I try to install in the kids. It's not about being successful in sports. Uh, if you want to be a successful person, you got to have a plan, and you got to put the work at the time. Nobody's going to give you nothing, and that's something that I continue to preach to my own two boys, and something I always preach to kids whenever I have a chance to interact with them. You know, uh, I, I know that you uh, had the chance to play college football, too, for Bo Schembechler. You ended up playing college basketball. And I was listening to Chris Rock this weekend, and he was talking about what if LeBron James played hockey, how good he would be. Um, <laughs> the, the, and I know you had a cup of coffee with the Cavaliers, and he's going back there. But did you ever think about hockey? Uh, you know what? I, I never did because I was never introduced to it. You know, coming up in Flint, it was more so just basketball, football. Well, 
Yeah, actually, it was soccer, track, baseball, pretty much everything, wrestling, everything but hockey, you know. And uh, But you know what? A few years ago, I teamed up with the fire department here in Flint that introduced hockey to inner city kids. Oh, so yeah? I definitely tried to play my part and, you know, introducing the kids to things that we didn't have a chance to play when I grew up. Can you skate? Yeah, I'm pretty cool. You know, I'm, I was a decent athlete, so I, I picked up ice skating easy. You know, I roller skated, you know, my whole life, so ice skating wasn't, you know, wasn't too bad. What about paddle boarding? Have you tried that where you stand up on a surfboard with a paddle? You know what? I haven't. I, I just came from Myrtle Beach, and I saw some people on surfboards, and, you know, me and my boys, we got out, and, you know, and dove, dove in the waves, but we didn't do no surfboard. No, I'm not, I'm not doing that either. Um, I, I, I would fall down all the time. Anyway, now where is the camp, and is it too? Is it going to start tomorrow? It's not too late to get involved? No, it's not too late. Uh, you can walk up and sign your kids up, and it's at AIM High. Um, and, and even, you know, if you can't get there, we have um, at Lansing and Eastern, we're going to have buses to transport the kids out to AIM High. So if you can't make it out there, you can get be picked up by a bus at um, Lansing Eastern, wow. they're going to take you out to AIM High. So we're super excited about it, man. It's going to be a bunch of fun. Wow, and this is amazing because there's no cost. It's a dollar, I guess, for registration fee. They'll pick you up if you need to, and you get to be around a superstar broadcaster and athlete, Mateen Cleaves. And it's number one, one goal, one passion camps dot eventbrite dot com. And it's not too late. What I guess what you're going to do in the morning, eight to twelve year olds, and then teens from thirteen to seventeen from 1 to 4 in the afternoon. And, uh, you know, uh, how do you get inside the mind of a teenager these days? Well, you know what? You just got to, you know, once they know you care about them, it's really not that bad. You know, I haven't had a problem. You know, I, one thing, I, look, you see, what I do, I slick them. You know, the basketball is a draw. But once we get them there, we hit them with a variety of different things. We talk about healthy eating, eco-friendliness, uh, life skills, goal setting. You know, I, you know, I have some of the kids doing yoga for the first time in their life. So wow. I try to introduce them to certain things and different things. And the basketball is just a drop. But once we get them there, we hit them and we challenge them with a variety of different things. 